This is little flashlights, toys, spinners. Michelle Salter loves Christmas, but she never expected to be as busy as an elf at the North Pole during the month of December. It has gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. Last year in November, when she realized she had a few extra stockings, she decided to put them to good use. Criola has been really struggling with their police department and it was something that I wanted just to begin in the area. She found donors in the community to help pack the stockings with toys and gave them to police officers to pass out to kids in Criola. When you have that kind of community connection with the police, the first responders, the, the community itself, it, it builds relationships, which all of us need it. Salter was blown away by the generosity, giving out 98 stockings. She decided to do it again this year and got quite the surprise. For about the past three weeks, you couldn't even walk in my living room. <laughs> this year, she's collected 501 stockings. Some little toys, some putty, candy. It's enough to give out stockings to Criola, as well as Satsuma, Saraland, and two Mobile Police Divisions. Salter says police have gotten in on the fun of giving too, even pulling over a school bus last year looking for some good kids. Everybody was just sitting there. All the kids were, were in freak mode, not knowing what to do. And uh, he's like, well, if there's nobody good on the bus, then then I can't give out any stockings. And he said, and then every hand on the bus raised. While the gestures give those great tidings of joy for the holiday season, Salter hopes it also makes a lasting impact on the kids. The police were showing, you know what? I'm not here to scare you. I'm here as your friend. And that's my whole goal. That's my whole goal is to work with the police and let them know that, you know, kids, these are your buddies. You ever need them for anything, that's what they're there for. Thank you so much. For now, reporting in Creola, Dana Winter, WKRG News 5.